Hello and welcome back to Europe and Valis for the Great Can. So we are about to go to war with Buryatia. We're currently at war with Ming. And we're looking to basically feed what's left of them to the Shagatai. So, uh, when does our, our truce is over? Uh, we have a claim, I think. I think it might have left it in just... Alright, we're waiting for this army to get around here. And then we're going to go and attack in from both sides. And basically clean up the entire war in like a couple of months. So, we'll just let this army move up. Uh, I did restart the game, so we are going to have some uh, things happen straight away. No, I don't want that. I think it might be time to ditch this alliance. Yeah. We'll ditch it. I don't think the Ottomans would join. Um, did the Ottomans join? No, the Ottomans are in a different war. So Crimea has declared their own war against Persia and wanted us to join. And quite frankly, I'm not... Uh, I'm not uh, into that. I'm definitely not into that if Crimea takes this tiny bit of land here that blocks us off. That'd be very annoying. I mean, I suppose the Timurids still have uh, claims, so we can just walk down there anyway. It doesn't matter. What cores? Uh, okay, so... Kiev, Royal Marriage of Kiva ended. We should get that back ASAP, just because that will uh, keep their liberty desire underneath the correct amount. There we go. Lowers by a huge amount. Almost got Timurids low enough that we can get the raw marriage of them as well, which would be lovely. Okay. Uh, are we here yet? Not quite. Oh, Truce of Muscovy has ended. Muscovy are allied with only Ryzan. How many men do Muscovy have? Uh, armies, Muscovy, 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 Muscovy. 40,000. So they are probably not going to attack us. Uh, I don't think we can attack them just yet. We're close, close, very, very close to being able to attack them. But not just yet. We also don't have enough admin points to realistically go through it. We still haven't finished coring what we've previously got from them. So, which is a bit annoying. Mm, Zhan Zhao has accepted peace with uh, Ming. Oh, so that war is over. Okay, cool. Uh, well, we'll just start one. As uh, Yan Zhao are going to come into this war, they have an alliance with Buryati and nothing else. We could call them in as co It really is map. We're not taking the land from them, no matter like whatever happens. We're not taking the land from them. Uh, do we want it then? Uh, well, there's no reason to declare them as co then. Yeah, there, there is literally zero reason to declare them as co Like apart from the fact that we can. That that that's about it. Like, in the reasons that we can do it, it's, we can. Oh, okay. Um, they have about 8,000 men somewhere. Uh, we'll just move up into this fort here. I just twi did that twice. 13,000 men somewhere. So, what's that? Uh, 11,000. That is exactly 13,000. So, this is their entire army. Jian Zhao joined in, and they added... Zero? Yeah, zero men. Okay. Good, good. Glad to see they're adding so many uh, men to this fight. Uh, I'm going to slow it down to speed 4. So we got uh, 18th and 21st. We're going to arrive first and then we're going to get this war going. We got this fight. Good. Nice, simple. Won it. Nothing went crazy. Ooh, just general uh, bonuses. I like that. Almost got enough to get the next uh, core done. Uh, oh, we actually had uh, Timurids drop below 50 for a second there. Ah, uh, but we must have lost it because we took a tiny amount of attrition. Colony became self-sustaining. Um, well, I would suggest that... Well, we could just colonize this bit of land here. But I kind of want to colonize in a straight line, just across. So we'll colonize... Not adjacent to... Oh, right, we, we physically can't do it because that's not fully developed. Okay, we'll just colonize there. Move into their fort here. Oh, we broke through the walls over at this side of their country. Perfect. Almost done, actually, this war. Uh, next month, we should be able to get that admin point, uh, so we can get uh, that last core. Which, and then we can start spending points on uh, admin tech again. And we only need uh, 3,000 here, so we could send our 7,000 over to uh, Chase. Which I think is probably the best idea. Let's... Uh, Make this a core. We do have the seven. Uh, we actually now have another one to core because of our uh, 
our colonization. Oh, we already took this one down. Split in half. One goes here, one goes here. Done. Broke through the walls there as well, which is nice. Uh, where are you going? Ustkut. We'll chase. We'll just chase everywhere. That seems like that's a good idea. Uh, I wonder where they're actually going. Oh, that's, that is where they're actually going. Okay. Well, that should be a stack wipe then, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was a stack wipe. And we'll send... Uh, Oh, that's one province? Ah, it's rivers. Okay, that's fine. We'll just send our leader back to the siege. Because that should probably make it just pretty much instantly be done. If he's even needed. Uh, we should core this province. Good. Good. Won a siege. And about to win the last siege? Yeah. Very easy. Oh. Um, should we get military access through Manchu and then go and see, uh, siege them? I think... We We'll think about it. I don't want to, because it seems like that would take a little bit of time. And we really don't want anything. They're like, they're not going to make any money. They're landlocked. It's like, it's just not worth taking their, the time to go and fight them. But we'll see what they give us. And are we going to finish this? Nope. Next tick. I suppose we should work out who we're going to attack next. I think we're going to attack Persia next. Yeah, we should attack Persia next because they'll be weak. Their allies are Oman, Iraq, Bahamanis, and Gujarat. What would happen if we tried to attack them? Who would join in? So it'd be Bahamanis and Gujarat. How many men do these two have? Gujarat have... Gujarat have 20,000. Bahamanis. Uh, Bahamanis. Did I miss them? Am I crazy? Did I miss some? Oh, there they are. Uh, 50,000. You know what? I think they're alright for just now. We'll just uh, wait till the Ottomans have had their way with them for a little bit longer. Actually, what's their military tech level? Should probably check. 13. So yeah, it's bright low stars. So, that, so we're now at 63% chance of this uh, siege ending. And it did. Okay. 90% war score. Uh, I would like to now transfer control of everything to Shagatai. Because we're going to give it all to Shagatai. Because it just makes sense, really. Assuming we can. If we can, I would like to. Let's peace out. Uh, I would like to give... Everything to Shagatai. Yup. Okay. We can actually take a reasonable amount of money from them. That's a lot of money. Done. Shagatai now have all this land. And the Timurids went over 50% again. Oh no. Um, where are we going? Uh, I think we should... It's either... Persia are a, ne a new target. What would happen if we attacked Crimea? Uh, we have to wait 50 days. Whatever happens, we're going to need to move these armies. Maybe... Oh, we can't attack over here. There's no one left to attack. Or rats are the next person we could attack. And that's going to be in eight years. So it would have to be Persia. Uh, who do you have cores on, Timurids? You have cores on Baluchistan. We could go... But they're allied with Ottomans. <sighs> right. Who else do you have cores on? You have cores on Multan. They're allied with Gujarat and Jampur. We could do something with that. Wouldn't be great, but we could do it. Um, okay. We'll wait for a diplomat to get back. But we should be over at this side of, like, probably sit in Kiva. That seems like a good idea. Just kind of head along to bits in Kiva here. Uh, and you head, you just stay at the edge of Shagatai land. There we go. Uh, what's our force limit at, like, actually? Uh, we're pretty much at it. We need to wait till we finish this annexation before we can take anything more. Annexation's not going to take too long, especially once we get that extra diplomatic rep from finishing our mission. I just remembered we had that. And we're going to finish that fairly soon. When are we going to finish it? Um, uh, we're going to finish that in two years. So that should that will actually affect the annexation quite a bit, because it's going to be quite low soon. I'm thinking about speeding up the game again, but I want to wait. I want to make sure we don't miss the Timurids this time again. Let's uh, speed up the game. See if we can get 
light and then just the moment the timorids would go below uh oh there it is below 50. hello timorids i would like a raw marriage disloyal attitude okay i understand loyal attitude raw marriage there we go perfect they're now all under 50 percent uh and once their opinion of us goes up that should fix a lot like uh, why is there is it just trust, actually? Is that what's causing a lot of trouble? Yeah, it's trust. Did we, I think we might have betrayed them at some point in the campaign. Uh, Warren Statesman's uh, passing. Uh, not that one. Uh, better relations over... Oh, was that where we were getting our diplomatic rep from? It was. Ugh. Oh, well. Um, I guess we'll get, like, better rep relations over time. I really do want the diplomatic rep. We could just start firing people. Mm. Yeah, it's not probably not worth it. Uh, don't want to improve diplomatic rep. We've still got another, like, we can get three times that held. Okay. Yep. Uh, do you want to set, like, administrative focus? I kind of want to set administrative focus. Just to even out our points a little bit. That allow us to get um, admin techs quicker. Because uh, I'd really like this next idea group. I'd like that extra core and cost reduction. That's really, really good. Especially with the admin core and cost reduction, which uh, that makes it like 25, 50% core and cost down. Fantastic. Colony has become self sustaining. Perfect. Go next door. On you go, army. Right. Uh, we have some rebels who are about to spawn, it says. 4.3 years. Uh, why? Is it mostly overextension? It's a little bit overextension. A lot of it's just intolerance. Like, in general, intolerance. Yeah, they probably won't fire, though, because, um, we'll finish our core. And you, um, yeah, they probably won't fire because of the core as well. So it's not too bad. Mostly just waiting for the core construction to be done. Uh, how's uh, Bahamanis' army look? Actually, I was going to look at how, uh, like, what would happen if we declared war on Crimea. Ottomans were joining. Okay. We declared war on Persia. Bahamanis, Iraq. And then we would join. Okay, Gujarat. No, Gujarat. We can't, I was just checking. I was actually just seeing. Uh, it was Baluchistan. That's, that's the next one. Ottomans would say no. Okay. The Ottomans would say no. As would Moltan. That would allow us to feed the Timurids. The pro the only problem with that is that I we might go over our liberty desire. Hmm, because our vassals will be too strong. Yeah. Hmm. It might just be a matter of waiting. What might be a good idea is to just start annexing Chagatai. Although we would get the negative one diplomatic reputation from annexing Chagatai. So, if we get the mission for annex uh, for annexing Kiva, it might be worth doing that. Because then we can get the extra, like we can offset the diplomatic reputation that we're, we're losing. Uh, if not, then, hmm. Yeah, it's kind of 50-50. What we should do there. Persia accepted peace with Hejaz. Hejaz were in charge of the war, weren't they? Yeah. Okay, so that, that was just a war of Crimea. Um, okay. So, core construction is almost done. Just a little bit to go. Then we can get our new missions and see what the game wants us to do. Get some inspiration going. Oh, we should also make that core. Definitely. Are we not less than 1%? Overextension? Yeah, we're less than 1%. I would like our... There we go, diplomatic reputation. That means that they will now be done at roughly the same time it was before we lost the diplomatic reputation advisor. Improve relations with Crimea. Uh, nope, can't do that. Conquer Karelli. Is that Russia? Yup. Create a proper fleet. I'm going to take one and cancel it and get a new one in a year. Uh, we can start converting some places. We could convert uh, Baskuristan in 37 months. Uh, we should also not be paying for this fort, I just remembered. 
Uh, yeah, it's mostly just uh, kind of chilling out for a little bit, letting what's going to happen happen. Like, we got some rebels in Chagatai who are a little bit of a problem, some Aurat Separatists. Might be worth heading one of our armies back. So let's make this, uh, give this army the good leader, just because it's a little closer. Give this army the bad leader. And then just kind of send it off to deal with the uh, with Chagatai's rebels. Just so that we don't lose it. That'd be nice. Uh, fur will be produced. Good, good, good. Uh, can we increase... Ah, what's, what do we need for that? Ooh, we're way ahead of time. Commonwealth allied Greece. Crazy. Crazy stuff's happening. Uh, we have got the province, part of our patrimony. We now have 0% overextension, which is nice. We do have some rebels that are going to that might pop up at some point and be a problem. I think if we can just live with the rib, we could probably we could probably justify boosting our stability to kill off every rebel. Okay, we'll do it. I know that it's cost us a lot of points to do that. But it does mean that pretty much every rebel's not gonna fire at any point. It's not great, but it's uh, fine. It's fine. I think that we're probably going to be able to catch up on admin tech at this point. And gain or lose piety? So this is an actual question. Probably just keep gaining piety because we're already at max piety. I mean, we could try and go really high, like go really low, I mean, on piety. Get a national manpower mod of our attacks and technology. It's not that important, though. No. We'll just gain piety so we're ready to fight whenever we need to. Uh, centralization yields benefits. Oh, good. We got autonomy change in every province. That's really nice. Uh, should we build some buildings? Probably not, because we need that um, we need that kind of war chest that we've got going on. Let's uh, head this army up. Take out the rebels. We're very nice. Then we'll head all the way back to Kiva. Yeah. Oh, we got a new missions. Remove Ryzan from the map. And we could attack Ryzan. They are only allied with Muscovy, and Muscovy is only allied with Ryzan. The problem with that is we have to attack Muscovy. Would the Ottomans join in? No. Why not? Distant war, war exhaustion. What about against Ryzan? What about against Ryzan? No. Distant war. That's the main one. Ugh. Wish I could get them interested in it. Who are the Commonwealth allied with? France and Spain, huh? You don't say. Uh, we won't be going to war with them. So they have, what, 50,000? Is that it? Muscovy, 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 Muscovy. Have 48,000 by themselves. And Ryzan have another 9,000? Yeah. So about 57,000. It just seems like too much of a risk to go to war with them again. Like, opposed to just uh, waiting a couple of years and then get like going through our truce timers. Like, it seems like a risk that we don't need to take. Um, when's our truce for the Aura? It's in five years. Hmm. Because we could feed the Timurids and make them very strong. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six provinces. Plus, we could probably give them the rest of it. It seems like it's a good war, and they're, but they are allied with the Ottomans, and the Ottomans will join in now. Oh no! I waited too long on that one. Who else are they allied with? Malwa. We have no reason to declare war on Malwa, do we? No. We could go for Moltan, who are allied with Gujarat and Jampur. Where are Jampur? Jampur are there. They have no men, right? Or next to no men. That would seem make sense. Jampur have 3,000. Gujarat have 20,000? 20, 20,000. So 23,000 and Moltan themselves have... Moltan themselves have 7,000. So about 30,000 troops. Not too bad. 
They would both join in. Mm. Mm. It's, it's it's hard to make that. I think that's a good choice. Like Persia would be a fine choice. The problem is that they're allied with Bahamanis, who's actually looks fairly strong right now. Um, maybe there's someone else. We I'm just trying to find a war. Like we could declare war in Scandinavia. We have a border. Wait, the Ottomans would re would join that one. Oh, because Scandinavia are up here, so that, that is actually. Is that that much shorter? Maybe it's done by capital. No, by capital it's even further away. Like, is Muscovy really? Okay, Muscovy is a hundred and sixty-four. Scandinavia is sixty-four. Is it that that much closer? I suppose maybe that's a little bit closer. It doesn't seem quite right. It must be from a certain point in the country, and that would explain it. Uh, I don't want to go to war with Scandinavia yet, though, because they're allied with England and Brandenburg. Although, if we were to bring, uh, if we were to bring the Ottomans along, England wouldn't be a problem. Brandenburg still would, though. No. Hmm. Okay, I think it's good that we. I think we should just wait a couple of months, see if there's another war that starts, see if we can capitalize on something. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, we're just going to fabricate claim on Ryzan. I d d don't know why. I suspect Muscovy are about to attack them, but um, and maybe just move our men up there. Like, we'll put the good leader in charge of this army. Just send them up there. Just, just on a scouting mission. Noth nothing big. And then uh, we'll just eat them later. Uh, turn off that fort. Let's, uh, c these forts are cost... Why don't we mothball all of them? There we go. Forts are costing us money. Anyway, going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time we will uh, probably go to War of Ryzan. Very nice. See you then.